Hi guys and welcome back to the Girly Go Bookworm. So today I have my holiday books that I would like to read in the year 2019. Um, so if you watched my last video, I talked about the books that I would like to read in, before 2020, as in like the books that are just on my shelves, regular Joe books. And these are going to be the holiday books that I would like to read before the end of the year. So like I said, I'm being super overly ambitious because being a mom of a two and a half month old. Well, she's still very close to two months at this point, but like by the time you're seeing it's probably two and a half month old. I'm not reading as much as I have been. So the chances of me actually getting to all these are not likely, but we're going to try, right? Um, so let's just get started. So some books that I'm carrying over from last year that I didn't get to, um, one was Christmas Camp by Karen Shaler. She just recently came out with another book that looks very similar to this, so I don't know if it's a sequel or what, but I definitely want to get to this one. I believe this follows a girl, and she is going, she works for this um, company, and she usually tries to avoid Christmas at, like, all costs, but then they kind of send her to Christmas camp or something like that, and I don't remember if it's, like, a bonding thing or what, but she has to go to this inn, and I believe she falls in love while she's there and finds the Christmas spirit, so... It sounds like it should be really fun, really cute. I never noticed there was a dog on this cover. <gasps> I want to read this even more now. So yeah, this was from my shelf last year, so I would like to get to it this year because I didn't get to it last year. Um, and then two other books that I didn't get to last year. Um, one is Mary and Bright, which also has a doggy on the cover by Debbie McComer. And the other one is Alaskan Holiday by Debbie McComer, which again has doggies on the cover. Um, so I feel like these books are short too, so they should be very easy to get through. This is actually big font too, so like this is probably even shorter. Um, Alana from Alana Reads sent these to me last year and I unfortunately did not get to them. So this is the perfect opportunity to possibly get to them this year. And then, um, hopefully I'm going to be a good girl and read the autumn stories before the end of November so that way I could get to the Christmas, the winter stories, A Season to Wed by Rachel Hawk, Cindy Kirk, and Cheryl Wyatt. Um, again, if you've been following me for a while, you know I have these like season series and they are three little short stories in one bind up. Um, so there's Love at Mistletoe Inn, A Brush with Love, and Serving Up a Sweetheart. Um, so one is a, Dece um, a December bride, a January bride, and a February bride is my guess. So it would be fun to get to this, but if I don't, it's okay. But I would love to get to this one before the end of the year, so that way I have already crossed it off my list and I don't have to worry about reading it. <laughs> Whoop! Drop my books. Sneak peek to a haul. Hopefully I have filmed that haul already at this point and showed it to you. But if I haven't, sneak peek again. <laughs> um, I bought three more romance -y type um, Christmas books. I ended up grabbing um, White Christmas Wedding by Celeste Winters. Um, I grabbed this one day when Target was doing a buy two get one free sale. And it sounds like somebody who is planning a winter wedding. And I love nothing more than reading about weddings and especially during winter time for some weird reason. Um, but yeah, this one sounded really good. Um, it sounds like these people are planning on getting married. So they like go back home to get married and like the best friend is trying to play on the wedding. And it sounds like crazy things are going awry because that's what typically happens in wedding books, right? And then Again, weddings ready. A Wedding in December by Sarah Morgan. Um, this is her Christmas book for this year. I really loved Christmas Sisters last year, so I knew that this year I wanted to pick up her Christmas release again. Um, I know nothing about it because I didn't want to know anything about it. All I know is romance and a wedding in December. What more do you need? I don't know. I don't know. And then the last book that I got, have to read again is another little short one. So there's a good chance that I could at least get through all my Christmas ones. I don't know about the other stack, but Christmas ones seem doable. And that is The Wedding Dress Christmas by Rachel Hawk. It's a novella. It has to do with her wedding um, collection series, and that is my favorite series. I love her wedding stories. So when I heard this one was coming out, I knew I had to get it. And again, I don't know too much about it, but I didn't want to know, especially being a novella. I felt like any, knowing anything would be a spoiler in itself, so I will be reading this. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will also be 
um, filming another video recommending all of the previous Christmas books that I've read that I've really enjoyed. So keep your eye out for that, and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye, everybody.